So hello everybody and welcome to another Kerbal video. In today's video we're going to talk about DAX Studio. I have shown you in a previous video how, how to use uh, DAX Studio, what it is for, show you the buttons where you can find different things. In today's video we're going to do something specific in DAX Studio which is download data from one table or from the entire thing in like seconds depending on how you want to do it. Ready? Let's go. So I have DAX Studio open. I haven't done anything else that, but open it. And uh, what we're going to do, you know that you can connect to Power BI, uh, Power BI Desktop, Power BI Service now if you have Premium. You can connect also with Excel and I think Analysis Services, I think. And um, we're going to connect to Power BI Desktop. To connect to Power BI Desktop, you need to open it. And the reason for that is because it finds it needs to find a port to actually get into the model. And the only way to do that is if you open the file. So once you open the file, it'll find it by itself. You don't need to do anything else. So you click on connect. And here we have all the tables that are available in the Northwind dataset. Great. So what we're going to do first is download the product table. To do that, you go here, evaluate, and then uh, product, nothing more. If you want to look at the table, you click here and run, and it will show you the table down there. And then you can go to output file, and it says the results will be sent to a text file. You can choose between text and CSV. And if you click run, it will you know tell you where do you want to download it. We will write product and then CSV and save. It says here, query batch completed, uh, 77 rows return. And if we go in here, guess what? That's our file with all the products in there. It took like what? Seconds, right? It's really, really good. Where are the limitations? I haven't had any limitations yet. So for what I know, you can download everything. But if there is any and you know, let me know. Let us all know in the comment box. And um, yeah, I've downloaded a lot of rows very, very quickly. Well, I had a problem and I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, so now we know how to download one table. How about we wanted to download everything? Let me show you. So you go first here, File, Options, and then advance and you have to click this show export all data button this is apparently a better function that means that it's not fully tested and developed so you need to activate it okay so once you activate that you will see that here in the advanced tab it shows export data you click in there and you have two options you have export to csv and export to sql obviously export to csv is super super quickly you just say where you want to export this and let's uh, put it in the stop. I have it. put it in a folder because it's going to download one file per table. Okay, so you don't have like tables everywhere. I have a already prepared one download export. And if we go to that you have all the tables here. You can see here it says export is 672, 8, blah, 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 2000. And it was like, is that fast? Is that good? It's really, really good. So you get the entire model in like seconds. Um, SQL, how do we do that? That is where it becomes a little bit more tricky. And for the love of me, I don't know why. Okay, if you click SQL Server, you need a connection string and you would think that getting connection strings you know in Azure is like super quickly in SQL on-prem not that quickly mm. okay this is the easiest way I found you have to have Visual Studio I know there are other ways obviously so if you don't have Visual Studio don't worry you are not locked out there are good online and search but probably you do have Visual Studio you go here to view and server explorer let's remove these and we're going to in data connections add a connection first you need to have your server name 
Um, now you must say, Ruth, I don't know the name of my server. Okay, don't worry. You go here, you go to Microsoft SQL Management Studio, where you probably have connected before. Hopefully, otherwise you call IT. <laughs> That's what I would say. But in there, you'll see it here, server name, okay? And then you see what type of authentication you have in case you don't know and you had connected with SQL Studio before. So once you have it there, you have to select a database name. I'm going to select DAX Studio. And here, you will get your connection string. I know how why is it that difficult it should be like right clean connection string right you paste it in there and here you have to put a schema name otherwise for what I have seen it just doesn't download anything so this is a common one put it there and boom 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 boom, boom. <laughs> you hear it just downloads everything it's so good it took obviously this is a small model but i have downloaded bigger models and it's that quick it's really 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 good it took a lot longer before for me to download stuff so we connect to uh, sql we go to a dax studio we go to tables and here you have all the tables with all the rows with anything you need and you can connect to it to how good is that i think it's absolutely fantastic one thing the only thing the only time i had problems there was a time where i, I you know i just wanted to have uh, one table and uh, i don't know why it didn't work with the text with csv i, I just uh, don't know but what happened is that it started to download and then the one that i wanted it was like orders for example and it just crashed on customers it just completely crashed I'm like oh no i won't be able to get my tables and no matter how many times i did it just wouldn't download so what it does is it goes in alphabetic order so it starts download customers categories customer calendar category customers in order so if you change the name of the table just for the download purpose and you put it in the first one it doesn't have any problem to download it will download I just thought I'd tell you in case you have that problem too or you want to extract three of them and you don't want to do them one by one or whatever it would be I just thought that it was probably useful for you to know okay so cool productivity tip isn't it thank you everybody that is behind DAX studio it is a lifesaver for sure so this is all for today. I will see you again on the next video. I'm not sure when I'm going to publish that. So until then, take care and bye-bye.